You could tell them that I've been from hell and back When the heat is on, I fire back Yo, what's going on guys? Fishy Drizzy here, back with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about some good things and some bad things, unfortunately. So, in my last few videos, if you guys did not watch them, I did talk about the three new additions to my tank, which are some coral frags, and then also, my video before that, I talked about my black clownfish having it. So let's get to the clownfish. Now, I unfortunately do not have the clownfish anymore because it did end up passing away which was really, really sad. I was really bummed out. I felt horrible be because the day before it died, um, I was looking at the tank like I always do every single day, and I saw the clownfish and it looked really bad. Its body looked horrible when it like just, if you guys have ever seen it, if you guys haven't, look it up, but you, I just saw tons of white little spots on him and I was just, I was like, wow, he, he looks the worst he's ever looked. But the weird thing is, is he was just swimming and eating and acting normal. So I was like, okay, uh, let's just see what happens. So the next morning I wake up, I check my tank like I always do every single morning and I see the clownfish dead and I was like, great. Like, uh, I was just, I was really bummed. I was like, okay, so I took him out and um, so right now I only have the Frostbite Clownfish and the Royal Brahma. Um, as for the corals, um, all the corals are doing well. The three new frags I got, or actually four new frags, are doing really well. The Duncan, I actually just looked at it right now before I made this video, and there's like two or three little heads starting to grow, which is really good. The two Acans are doing really well, and then I'm still waiting for the mushroom to start growing more, um, to start growing more so it can spread on the rock. But right now, it's it's still doing really well, just not growing as fast as I wanted to. And then, the last thing I wanted to get to was, or is the anemone. So, I've had this anemone, guys, for God. If you're like an OG subscriber, you it's. You've, you've probably seen this anemone for the past like three, four years. I'm mean, probably like three, three years. So the anemone has been doing really well. I did get, I did re, I, I redid my aquascape like two, three weeks ago. And ever since that, the anemone just will not find its right spot that it's comfortable with. It has been constantly moving around the tank for weeks and I've never had the anemone do that before. It's always usually found its spot within one to two days. And it just, and, and it would just stay there until I moved the rocks or whatever. Um, but this time it's just constantly on the move and it'll stay in one spot for two, three days and then it'll move. And then it'll, it'll spend like the next like three hours moving around the tank. And I was thinking, God, I do not want the anemone getting stuck in the wave maker because I've read stories of them getting caught in there getting sucked in it and just getting chopped up by like it's just I did not want that to happen so luckily the whole time it, it stayed on the left side of the tank on the big island right here and then sometimes it'll go towards the back and then the side glass right here but it never went on it never ever went on the right side of the tank not even close to the wave maker it never got close to it so one day I was out late and I get home and the lights are off and everything. And before I go to bed, I check my tank like always. And I'm like, where's the anemone? And I see these like little, a little, these little like white tissue looking things floating around the tank. They're really small. Um, not a ton of them, but like a handful. I was like, uh, the fish aren't dead. So that has to be the anemone. So I look, at my wave maker, the MP10, and I see the anemone just sucked in it, like it looked it looked bad. And I've never experienced this before. I've only like read online about it, and I read that when if this happens, you should shut off the wave maker, obviously, and then don't touch the anemone. Just let it get itself out on its own. 
So that's exactly what happened. Um, I shut it off and within like 10 minutes or maybe five, 10 minutes, um, it got itself out, which I was really happy about. But I, it was since the lights were off and I, I couldn't really see that well because it was kind of closed once they got out. Um, I couldn't see like the damage the wave maker did. So I was like, I was like, God, I was like, I hope, I, ho I was like, I hope it's okay. Um, and it stayed at the same spot for like another day. And then finally like two, three days um, after it started to move around and actually open up. So it's actually right here, as you can see, um, I'll get some close up footage of it, but it's actually recovered really, really well. A lot better than I expected. Um, you, if someone were to look at it, you would never know that it got caught in a wave maker. Right now, it's, it's pretty small because it's still moving around, so it's not fully opened up yet. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to up you, update you guys on what's been going on. Um, a lot of unfortunate events, I guess you can say, but um, that all comes with the hobby, dead fish, um, anemone problems, coral problems. Um, but yeah, guys, so... Also, because the anemone was moving around, I did have to move around. Um, I had to move my coral frags out of the way because yesterday the anemone was getting really close to the acans, and I didn't want I didn't want the anemone stinging them. So that's why the frags are like kind of pushed off to the side towards the middle. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to update you guys on my tank and what's been going on. So if you like this video, please smash that thumbs up button because it does help a lot. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel because I will be putting out content uh, more often now. And I've been pretty consistent for the past like month or two, so definitely keep up with my videos. And then also, I do have a Facebook page, so definitely like that. It will be down in the description. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave it down below like always. And if you're not, I already said that. But <laughs> until next time, guys, peace out.